In this video you will learn all possible ways to center elements on the page just by using plain CSS. So here I have a completely empty page and this is how my HTML is looking like and on the right we have main CSS and our body is completely empty. The first possibility that we can use to align elements is text align center. But here is an important point, we can center only inline elements or inline block elements, which actually means if we will here create a div, for example with class container, and now inside this div we will create one more with class content, and let's write text hello CSS inside, then if we will try to apply CSS container, and here inside text align center to our class, then it won't work. As you can see, actually it was centered, but it was centered only because our content inside takes full width. If for example here we will write that our content container just takes width of 200 pixels, then of course it won't be centered correctly, because content in our case is a div, and div is a block element, this is not an inline element. What we can do to fix it, we can write here display inline or display inline block. Both will go for this case. Let's reload the page. As you can see now it is centered correctly, because now we are treating our div as an inline block element. And actually we have plenty of elements which are inline by default. For example instead of div we can have here an image. Let's paste here some source, I have here a placeholder, and now let's reload the page. And we can even remove here width and display, because we have an image, and this image will be 200 pixels width. Let's reload the page, and as you can see here is our image, and directly without any styles, except of text align on the parent, it is centered, because actually image is an inline element, and we are attaching text align to our container. But it is really important that you should not forget to attach text align to the parent, and not the element itself. Another possibility to center content is margin zero auto. And here as you can see I have two divs, first of all container and then a content, just like we did previously. What I want to do, I want inside container to write margin, zero, space, auto. As you can see nothing here is centered, why it is happening? Because actually our container here takes full width, this is why margin zero auto doesn't do anything. What in the world margin zero auto means at all? Actually margin zero auto is exactly the same like you will write margin top, here we have zero, margin bottom, we have here also zero, then we have margin left auto, and margin right also auto. And this means that we are not applying any margin on the top and on the bottom, but we are setting here auto for margin left and margin right which actually means browser will set by itself margin on the right and on the left, and it will position element directly in the center of the page. Which actually means this is just the short form and we never write it like this. But our problem is here that we want to center the element, and in our case we want to center content. First of all we must apply this margin zero auto, not to the parent but to the element that we want to center. Secondly, this element should not take full width, in other case this won't work. This is why here we want to set for example width to 100 pixels and here is margin zero auto. As you can see in browser, now it is centered, which actually means if you must center a block element, then margin zero auto will work for you. So these are two really old options, which work in all browsers. And now we will talk about modern stuff. And actually nowadays we have flex and after it grid to position our elements, which actually means it is much easier nowadays to position our elements than it was previously. In our case here let's say that we want to position our content. In this case what we want to do we want to apply instead of this logic for our container display flex. What does it mean? It positions all elements inside in a flex order. If we will reload page, nothing is working, this is simply text on the left and nothing changed. But here now we can write justify content center. So in this case we directly telling that our container is display flex and all our content inside must be centered. Let's reload the page, as you can see it doesn't matter if we have the span or div, if it is inline or block, it will be centered. And actually this is my preferable option to center elements just by using flex and justify content. 
Why is that? Because it is super flexible. Typically you don't only want this, but you also want to align elements vertically. And it is super easy to do it by using flex. Let's say that inside our container we don't have just a content, but we have two containers. For example, an image, just like previously, and our div. And we want to center them both and also to center them vertically. After I reload the page you can see that we centered elements, but not vertically, only horizontally. And actually if you are using text align or margin zero auto you have problems. But here we are using flex and it is super easy. We can simply write here align items and here we also use center and they will be centered vertically. Let's reload the page. As you can see now our hello CSS and our image are exactly aligned not only horizontally but also vertically. This is why from my perspective display flex is really nice and flexible solution. The last possibility that we have is to use grid. But actually grid is a bad idea to center elements. Because with grid you typically want to define the size of your columns and rows. But we can do something similar to see how it goes. As you can see here I have our container with content and an image. And here inside container we can say display grid. And here we must define our columns or rows. Here we have just two elements so we can define two columns. We can write here grid-template-columns and here we can define the size of each column. So here we can say 50% space, 50%. So this is our first column, hello CSS, and here is our second column image. Let's save this and check what we have. As you can see here we are getting the grid with two columns. On the left we have our hello CSS and on the right we have our image. And actually every single element takes 50%. But here it makes a lot of sense to position it vertically. This is why here we can write align items and here we are using center. Let's reload the page. As you can see now it is positioned correctly and centered vertically. So nowadays I would use flex if I really need to position some elements on the center or align them vertically and I will use text align if I really need to align text or some inline elements. I almost never use margin zero auto and I use grid if I really want to work with grid and I want to create rows and columns and not just position elements. And if you are interested to know how to create a Twitter web page just with plain CSS and HTML, don't forget to check this video also.